Hey guys, I thought I would take you with me this weekend because it's the month of love. And this weekend, my sister is getting married. So we've had a small disaster already happen this weekend. Hey Judah, come over here. It's Friday, Judah is with me and we're getting ready for the wedding. We're gonna decorate. And Judah desperately needed a haircut. So we went and got him a haircut. And do you know what? Today, I'm gonna play with my toys. So we're gonna have to get this fixed. It's not good. So the wedding day is here you guys and I am so excited we're getting ready today and I was just thinking about you and thinking about love in general and I thought I would share something challenge you with something that I've kind of been challenged by recently but um I actually need to change really fast because I uh, don't want to be late so hold on one second <laughs> ah there you go that's better you know I know some of you are gonna comment on my tie being a little janky, but I'm gonna fix it later, I promise you. So obviously today I'm thinking a lot about love because it's my sister's wedding and I'm thinking about marriage and I think 1 Corinthians 13 is gonna be read at the ceremony and I know that's kind of a classic scripture for marriages and weddings and love, um, but I was really challenged by it because a lot of times we can read God's word and it can just kind of glaze over what it's saying to us. But I was really challenged as I looked at 1 Corinthians 13 this morning um, by the fact that love is so much more than just a feeling. In fact, you know, all over the Bible, we are encouraged that love is one of the most important things that we can have, um, that when we love people, well, when we love our husbands and our wives, we love our kids, when we love our neighbors, when we love our enemies well. Loving people well is part of the evidence that we are Christ followers. In fact, in 1 Corinthians 13, Paul starts by saying that you can have lots of amazing gifts and skills, but the most important thing that you could have is love. And then he goes on to talk about love. Let me get it for us. Love is patient, love is kind, love does not envy or boast, it is not arrogant or rude, it does not insist on its own way, it is not irritable or resentful, it does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, love believes all things, love hopes all things, and love endures all things. So my challenge to you today, and something that I've really been challenged by as I've been thinking about these verses this morning, is which of these words do I most need to work on? The word that I need to work on, and a word that I've needed to work on for a long time, and I have been working on for a long time, is patient. It's the very first one. That's how much I fail at love. Love is patient, and patience is something that's really hard for me at times. I can get very quickly irritable and impatient. As you think about 1 Corinthians 13, what is a word that you can be focused in on, laser focused in on, so that you can grow in love? We all want to grow in love towards the people around us, towards the people that God puts in our lives. So what's a word that you can grow in so that you can grow in love? So that's my challenge for you today, but it is about time to go to the wedding, so let's go.
It's a boy. It's me. Hello. Hello. There's the bride. Aww. You look so handsome.